What's up everyone? Today's video is going to be about car cleaning. Um, ever since I got my Hellcat, I've taken a strong interest in learning how to clean the car correctly. Uh, you know, not damaging the paint, trying to not have swirls and micro scratches and all of that fun stuff. Uh, my previous Charger RT, uh, you know, I took it to car washes. Most of the time they were touchless car washes, but uh, I did take it to regular soft cloth car washes on a regular basis. Um, you know, had it waxed at car washes and things of that nature. Really didn't do a whole lot of the, the work myself. Uh, but however, with the Hellcat, I have pretty much done all of my own cleaning. Um, and like I said, I've gone out and done a lot of research on the internet to try to find the best ways to, to take care of the car. Um, one of the things I have found is that, you know, most people say the less you have to actually touch the paint, the better off you actually are. Um, so to that end, uh, you know, I wanted to find the best way to dry the car to, you know, not touch the paint as much as possible. So I've tried three different uh, methods of air drying the car. Um, yeah, sorry about the messy garage. Um, but on the right over here, you see the uh, small uh, Master Blaster Sidekick. Uh, it's made by Metrovac. Um, it's pretty good. It's small. It's it's portable. It's it's easy to to you know control and move around. Uh, the hose does not come with it. I bought the hose separately. Uh, helps you know not have to hold the unit over the car while you're drying. It makes it easier to you know move around the car and things of that nature. Um, in the middle, we have the, uh, it's a full-size Toro leaf blower. Um, I believe it moves air at about 225 miles an hour. Uh, I forget what the actual CFM rating for the, for, the blow, uh, for the leaf blower is. I'll put all the information about the products in the description for the video. And then on the far left over here, um, that is the actual full-size uh, Master Blaster, also made by Metrovac. That unit actually has two four-horsepower motors. Um, that thing moves a ton of air. Now, in the grand scheme of things, uh, you know, from strongest to weakest, you have the Sidekick. The Toro uh, Leaf Blower actually moves almost as much air, maybe as much air, as the actual Master Blaster. Um, however, the Master Blaster with the hose makes it much easier to uh, control. Uh, you know, using the uh, the leaf blower is very difficult. It's it's heavy. You have to hold it right. Um, you know that you can see from the nozzle, the uh, tip is actually hard plastic. It's not uh, soft rubber like on the end of the Master Blaster hose and on the end of the uh, Sidekick hose. Uh, so those things all come into play you know, while you're trying to, you know, work on the car. Uh, so for this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take the car out of the garage. I'm gonna wet the, uh, soak the hood down and then use each one of these things to uh, blow water off the hood uh, to try to give you a, a real world representation of, you know, how well each one does. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna summarize my thoughts on all three of them, seeing how I have used all three of them uh, and which ones I you know feel are the best, and which one I feel you know might be the worst. Uh, so stay tuned. Okay, I've uh, missed it down the hood of the car. Hopefully, you can see uh, the water droplets. Um, as a side note, the uh, beading on that hood uh, I use at Top Coat F11 as uh, my detailing product of choice. Uh, this car has I don't know somewhere between. 10 and 15 coats of it. I use it as a detail spray pretty much. Um, even though it's supposed to last for three to six months, pretty much every time I wash the car, I put another coat on and you can see how well the water beads up as a result. So for the first test, I'm going to actually use the Master Blaster Sidekick, which is the small compact uh, device. Um, I apologize for any wind noise or, or road noise. Unfortunately, I don't have a fancy external microphone yet for my camera, so it is what it is, so I'm going to go ahead and set the blower up. Uh, you won't be able to hear me while I'm working with it, so here we go.
So hopefully you were able to see with that how well the uh, sidekick moves there. Uh, does a good job. Um, it's not intended to dry the entire car. It's intended to be able to blow into the crevices like along the hood lines and up under the windshield and even your mirrors and things like that. Um, I have ever I however have actually used it to dry the entire car uh, Unfortunately because of its power um, It does take a long time to dry the entire car. Uh, it actually took longer to dry the car than to wash the car when I was using this um, But it is uh, usable if you're willing to spend the time All right, so now I'm gonna resaturate the hood and show you the Toro leaf blower all right, so the hood is resaturated. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Tora leaf blower. Um, you'll see that it does, in fact, move a lot of air. Uh, however, it is very unwieldy to use. Uh, the thing weighs seven pounds, uh, trying to hold it above your head uh, to do the roof, and even up at waist or shoulder height to, to do the hood in the trunk uh, becomes very tiring. Not to mention the fact that it's a, very would be very easy to scratch the paint with the nozzle on this thing so oh, here we go So, as you can see from that, it definitely moves a way more air than the uh, little sidekick does. Uh, but like I said, hopefully, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's very unwieldy to use. Uh, there are several times I came close to hitting the paint with the nozzle. Uh, again, it's the cheapest out of the three. However, you know, you do pay. Well, you don't pay, but, you know, there is a trade-off for, you know, having it be cheap. Um, so now I'm going to set up the master blaster and show you that. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to use the, uh, the full Metrovac master blaster now. Uh, you'll see just how much air this thing moves. Alright, so there you go. Uh, you can see the Master Blaster definitely moves a ton of air, especially with both motors running. Um, I have had to use it with only one motor running once. Uh, it still moves more air than the Sidekick does. However, it probably moves less air with one motor than the Toro Leaf Blower does. Um, so now that you've seen them in, you know, being used and how much air they can move and how much water they can move, uh, I'm going to do a final wrap up on my thoughts about each one, pros and cons. And ultimately which ones are which one I think is the best so back soon okay now for my final thoughts and pros and cons for each uh, let's start with the uh, master blaster sidekick on the right uh, pros it's affordable depending on where you buy it at it's about anywhere from 80 to 100 dollars uh, it's portable it's easy to move around it's not that heavy if you buy the hose attachment, it makes it much easier to actually uh, use the, the blower without actually having to worry about dropping it on the car, that kind of stuff. Um, moves a fair amount of air. Uh, doesn't move nearly as much air as the other two, so it's both a pro and a con. Uh, con being that it is the least powerful out of the three options available. Um, other than that, I don't really see any other cons other than the pure strength of the object or the uh, dryer. So now on to the uh, Toro Leaf Blower um, Pros. Uh, it's very cheap. That thing only cost me like $55. Uh, you can buy it at any uh, home hardware store. I got mine, I believe, at Home Depot if I remember correctly. Uh, it moves a lot of air. Uh, I would say it actually probably moves as much, maybe a little bit less than the actual Master Blaster does. Um, so, you know, from a 
from a drying time perspective, uh, it's going to be right up there with the Master Blaster. Uh, as far as cons to this thing, it weighs seven pounds. Uh, it doesn't filter the air going into it. That's one of the biggest complaints. If you look online, people say you shouldn't use leaf blowers because uh, of the air it doesn't get filtered going into the bottom of the unit. Um, as far as I'm concerned, can you dry a car with it? Yes. If you're careful with the thing, I mean, I always keep that inside a plastic bags so and nothing can get up inside the uh, impeller that kind of stuff but uh, back to the cons I mean it's heavy uh, you know trying to do the roof of the car you're holding that thing up over your head uh, the nozzles very long uh, it's not uh, you know soft rubber like the other two devices are uh, you know just getting too close to the car with the actual nozzle itself you could gouge the paint uh, as I was using this thing on my car I kept picturing in my head, dropping it on the hood, uh, dropping it on the roof. Uh, so to me, the biggest con is definitely the weight and the unwieldiness of the thing trying to use it to dry the car. Uh, now on to the actual Master Blaster. So the pros on that is, you know, obviously how much air and water it moves. It's probably the most effective. Uh, it's probably the easiest to use. The hose that they send with it is extra long. Um, you know, makes it easy to lean across the car to blow off the car without having to worry about moving from side to side if you don't want to. Um, it's just an all-around good product. Now, the cons is it's the most expensive thing out of the three. Uh, you can find them for as low as $350 for the original Master Blaster. There's now a Master Blaster Revolution, which actually the front wheels on it are on casters, so it, they actually spin so you can actually pull it around. Uh, and the wheels will turn so that the tank will move with you. Um, they actually sell an attachment that you can mount it in a garage and get a 30-foot hose. Uh, with that uh, set up, you really don't even have to take the canister out of the garage. You can just use, drag the hose out and dry the car that way. I personally feel the longer, you, the, longer the hose you put on it, uh, the less you're going to get from an air volume perspective because it has to travel further before it gets to the nozzle and ultimately you know, coming out onto the car to blow the water off. Um, so from my perspective, I think that going to the 30-foot hose, I, I personally won't do it, uh, you know, but again, to each their own. Um, another con on this thing is it sucks a lot of power. This thing with both motors running, uh, you know, eight horsepower between the two four motors, or the two four horsepower motors, um, can't use it on less than a 20-amp circuit. Uh, I tried it once. On a 15 amp circuit, it ran for about two minutes and then it tripped the circuit breaker. Um, so anytime you're gonna use this thing, you needs to have a dedicated 20 amp circuit. Uh, one of the other cons to this is, uh, again, based on how much power it draws, uh, you need a hefty extension cord if you're gonna use an extension cord. Uh, as you can see, it comes with a 12 foot cord built into the unit. Um, depending on you know, where you're washing your car, that might not be long enough. Uh, what I did was I bought a 25 foot 12 gauge extension cord. Um, I've tested that cord with this device. I've checked the ends of the plugs uh, after using it. They don't get hot. Um, I believe 12 gauge is actually the same gauge as the wire on the device itself. Um, so as far as the extension cord itself, um, you know, 25 feet is what I bought. That was what I felt safe using. Um, you know, I think you can go up to a 50 foot cord with a 12 gauge wire uh, and still be okay. But if you go anything longer than that with this thing, you're potentially going to create problems. Um, so again, that's one of the cons on this thing is the amount of power it draws and, uh, you know, needing a 20 amp circuit to use it and things like that. So as far as the three devices go, I mean, I started off with the Toro leaf blower. Um, I wanted to go the cheapest route possible. Uh, you know, so I bought the leaf blower and I used it probably two to three weeks. I mean, I wash my car two to three times a week typically. So, uh, you know, three weeks was a lot of times using this thing. Um, found, like I said, it's very unwieldy. Uh, and I was always uh, concerned I was going to hit the paint with the nozzle. I was going to drop it on the car someplace, uh, you know, things like that. So I then went to the, uh, you know, the uh, sidekick. Uh, I used that for the longest period of time. Again, uh, you know, the Toro was $55. I got the Sidekick on Amazon for, I believe, $79.99 with Prime shipping. Again, I'll put links to all this stuff in the uh, description. 
Um, so I used that. I used it initially without the hose, and it was okay, but again, holding the canister over the car, it kept figuring I was going to think to myself I was going to drop it, so I was worried about that. Um, so again, I bought the hose, and uh, after buying the hose, the thing worked great. Uh, my only real problem with this thing is, again, because it doesn't, use, it doesn't move as much air as the other two, uh, it takes forever to dry the car if you want to dry it thoroughly. Um, like I said, I would wash the car in about 20 to 30 minutes, and it would take literally probably an hour to completely dry the car uh, with that thing. So after using both of those, I finally decided to, you know, bite the bullet and then spend, unfortunately, the $350 for the Master Blaster. And uh, I've used that now for probably about a month. And I mean, at the end of the day, uh, you know, that is my favorite out of these uh, three devices. Um, it moves the most air. Uh, it drives the car probably the fastest. I have less concerns about hitting the car with the nozzle. Uh, you know, it's just an all around uh, better experience with drying the car. So, I mean, to me personally, the Master Blaster is the way to go. But again, if you're on a budget, I think the Sidekick is probably the next best thing as long as you're willing to put in the time. As it, it, you know, like I said, it's going to take a lot longer to dry with that thing. Um, and then, you know, if you have to have a shoestring budget, you know, the, the leaf blower will work, um, but you need to be extremely careful. I mean, granted, you could probably put some, you know, rubber uh, wrap around the tip of that thing so that, you know, it makes it a little bit softer if you hit the car with it and that kind of stuff. I know Toro also makes some attachments for these things. I don't know if those would help out, but at the end of the day, it's still seven pounds and it's still very unwieldy to use. Uh, so hopefully you found this video uh, informative. Um, hopefully the uh, the demonstration uh, came through okay on the video, and I appreciate you watching, and take care.